द सेल्फिश जीन इज अ नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सिक्स बुक ऑन एवोल्यूशन बाय द बायोलॉजिस्ट रिचर्ड डाउकिस सेल्फिश जीन्स मीन्स दैट इट प्रोमोट्स इट्स ओन सर्वाइवल विदाउट नेसेसरली प्रोमोटिंग द सर्वाइवल ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिज्म ग्रुप और इवन स्पीशीज एज अ बायोलॉजिस्ट we have come across hundreds of examples which show selfish nature of the genes dawkins he notes that all life evolves by the differential survival of replicating entities some research suggests there is a genetic basis for greed it is possible people who have a shorter version of ruthlessness gene may behave more selfishly Richard Dawkins suggested in the opening words of the selfish gene that were an alien to visit earth the question it would pose to judge our intellectual maturity was have they discovered evolution yet the behavior of all living things is in service of their genes hence they are selfish the selfish gene was our first proper taste of evolution genes aren't what they used to be either in 1976 they were simply stretches of dna that encoded proteins the selfish gene explained the process of evolution in biology using genes as its basic unit showing how they manifest in the form of organisms what they do to ensure their own survival how they program our brains which strategies have worked best throughout history and what makes human so the basic unit of evolution is the gene because it can exist as multiple copies and is therefore near immortal a gene is selfish it acts in a way that promotes its own survival at the expense of other competing entities however genes themselves have no conscious motive it is simply their behavior that we can describe as seemingly selfish why genes seem selfish we have to examine the physical environment where they exist in genes come in packages called chromosomes which are sheltered within the cell that makes up an organism chromosomes come in pairs humans have 23 pairs 46 chromosomes in total another important idea genes phenotype the way its code is manifested in its environment determines its survival physically all genes are fairly similar they are all snippets of dna where they differ is the information they encode and another important idea the survival success of a gene is dependent on its particular environment both physical and genetics good camouflage for a tiger is very bad camouflage for a polar bear because of the fundamentally different environments a gene for tiger camouflage would have minimal chances of surviving in an icy environment another idea organisms are machines built by group of genes that cooperate only because they share a reproductive mechanism another idea gene program the brain they build with behavioral strategies that help their survival genes are selfish by definition in that genes that promote their own survival at the expense of the other genes tend to be more successful all animal behaviors can be traced to selfishness on the part of their genes the author believes the evolution happens to genes not species he also thinks there is no gene for altruism that is selfless or kind behavior dawkins explained that all living organisms from single cells to human are effectively survival mechanism created by genes to protect themselves a small animal is unlikely to win a fight with a large predator and so its tendency to flee when it sees a large predator will keep it alive and when that small animal reproduces its tendency is to flee 
in instead of fight will get passed on in the gene pool he argues that animals are mostly nice to their relatives because relatives share genes